our honor and our privilege and certainly our prayer is that we channel as many missionaries as possible through this land to be able to reach all the surrounding nations specifically and of late is certainly Cambodia being a, a nation of recent disastrous history because of the political environment the wars there it was left splintered fractured and wounded and the infrastructure is only now beginning to heal and come back together and as a result of that the doors are wide open to the gospel and then they heard the news that they were going to have to abandon their homes and they were going to have to not be able to take anything with them but that they were going to flee for their lives and they believed this they didn't know they were being led into camps where torture was about to ensue during the time of the Khmer Rouge, you couldn't speak French, you couldn't speak Chinese, you couldn't use money. Knowledge was a crime. Wearing glasses was a crime. Being handicapped was a crime. All of these things were crimes. Being a mom and dad were considered evil. They took your children from you. They told your children that the family was an evil entity. We're talking about absolute slavery. That children, and we have 14,000 people that are living as sex slaves in Cambodia right now as we sit here today. 35% of them are children under the age of 14 years old. And some of them were brought into that lifestyle by their own parents, by the people who are supposed to protect and love them. And you think, what kind of evil mother and father do that? Starving ones. So they think they'll sacrifice one to save the rest. And you can't imagine what the kind of horror that that is. When you're willing to, to lay down your life, when you're willing to lay down your jobs and, and your, your ambitions to, to, to be an American, to do this and to do that, when you're willing to lay those things down for what God has called you to do, you enter into a place beyond servitude, into a place of friendship with God. church within Phnom Penh and we would raise up disciples that are going to walk in the power of the Spirit. They're going to walk in the power of the Word. They're going to walk in, in fresh uh, download from heaven and take that out and plant churches in, in the surrounding villages. I have never been in that line. I you for your friends. I always have to be Danielle and I realize that we cannot do this on our own. We cannot do this on our own. We're going to need a uh, river people, river people that have been prepared, that have been equipped, that are ready to serve in the nations to come and be a part of what God's doing. 